our second container, we are going to do, uh, yeah, as I say, I got one too many of the thriller. I'm doing three containers, but I have four thrillers. But I really, really love this to be with this mom. I just feel like that shape, like a fan shape, and with one the ball shape in the, in the front, it's just so perfect. But also, I really like this deep purple color to go with the orangey color of the uh, mom. So, I'm going to do a double thriller. <laughs> I don't know if it's thing existing, but this is what I'm going to do. Double thriller. Maybe put it on the side a little bit, in the middle of this. I feel like having a uh, container is like, you know, a miniature version of your long-term goal of having a mature, beautiful garden, but you can make your dream come true earlier by doing a small container. My goal is I have a, a parsum garden, so that's what I'm going to do today. I will immediately have a parsum garden by doing parsum container. And that is my autumn garden right there. So I think a container arrangement is a you know brilliant idea. <laughs> I got so excited when I realized oh, I have three big pots. I actually have you know my garden already. Oh whoa whoa. <laughs> The root is growing so well. I have to be very careful. It's actually quite heavy. My first flower plant that's alive over a year. <laughs> of course, the other one died, I could say it's because it's an annual plant. So <laughs> I try to purchase more perennial plants. Just when you get attached to them, you don't want to lose them. Alright. Tease, 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 tease. I should have buy a smaller one for this project. I try to use whatever I have already. Since most of those are perennial, I can dig them out if I decide I'm done with the container. Or I just love the container as they be for a long time. Wow, it's quite crowded here. I don't know. Reach the limit here. What do you think? It looks nice. I like the effect. You like the effect? Yeah. So they are not happy, they're like so proud. What do I do? Let me think. There are a few solutions here. I can pull some dirt out of here and make it cleaner too. Yeah, I should have put a mom in first. They take up so much space. So, lesson learned. <laughs> if you do it with a bigger plant, put in the biggest one first. I 
after we wash the mom in, is in, I make sure it's in the right angle. So this is in the middle, and the mom is in the right angle I want on the right side. So I'm going to work this one in. The centerpiece. The thriller. <laughs> Color for the third piece to go in on the left, on your right side. So, um, so there are three points in this pot. Um, as you can see, there are still some gaps. So this kind of hang grass that I found in my yard, I think. I always like this one, it looks beautiful. So I'm gonna put it right here as a draper. So, unless you're putting it against a wall, you usually want it to be 360 degree of view. So as a beginner, I don't think I'm playing very well on the back side of it. So, but I think the mom is gonna feel it a little bit more, so is the uh, salvia for sure. But for now, I might tug in this very cute wild grass I found in my yard. I think I'm maybe tugging the right side right here. Just so cute. into gardening but he's been very supportive so I this is all I talk about lately but he's trying to be patient and listening to me and trying to remember the name of the flower that I really really love. Thank you husband. Oh my goodness I love it. <laughs> I think I did okay. <laughs> the last container we're gonna do today is part some container. Of course, the centerpiece is going to be my very, very beloved Junkus Twisted Arrow Grass. It can actually grow to 30 to 36 inch height, so quite a good height in here. So, we're going to put in first. Should we do it in the middle instead of always tug in the back? Because I only have two. No, no, no. This grow quite high too. Oh, I wish I could do a container like, you know, the centerpiece is in the center and then the stuff is around it. But I might got wrong stuff on it. <laughs> okay, let me think. Hmm, should I run the garden center now? <laughs> My smaller filler fill up all the sides. Yeah, why not? Let's run the garden center. The plan was this uh, center piece of this um, Junkus Twisted Arrow Grass. I'm going to go to the back and some of the, because um, polias, depends on what kind you get, they can do pot, sun, and sun. Uh, they got so many varieties and so beautiful. And um, so those are going to get to the front. And those grow quite big too. Somebody, Some people only use those for fill out a whole container. But... Um, but somehow I want to do something different. I don't want, you know, everything, the centerpiece to be on the back and stuff going in the front. I'm kind of thinking I should put the centerpiece in the middle. <laughs> so I actually can put it here already because it's going to be in the center. Make sure it's center, husband, help me. <laughs> in the center, do you? You should get a tape measure. That's what I would do. <laughs> Laser measurement. Yeah, yeah. They don't have lasers, but we got a tape measure. <laughs> it works. Does it look very center to you? Uh, I'm not sure. I would want to use a tape measure. Are you serious? Yeah. Okay, you're scaring me. <laughs> I think I want it to lift up a little bit, so I need to feel more mm -hmm. dirt in there to clear the whole thing. Oh, can't wait until it grows taller. 
So we're going to put a grass in the middle, and I might need to get more of those uh, silver plant over on um, this one. The same. It's either Dustin Miller or Silver Bullet. We can't decide. So if somebody can recognize it, let me know. It's got like in the bottom. It's got like those it's got one, two, three, four, and a very lumpy middle piece. And up here, it's got the smaller leaves. It's like uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of the small piece on each side and the lumpy middle part. So I can't decide if it's silver bullet or a uh, dust but if anybody can, let me know. Please, please do let me know. I'm gonna go pick up more fillers, but um, it's kind of far away yesterday where we found it is in Dallas, so we don't know if we could go that far, but we'll see and we'll continue doing our third part sum container. Well, I'm very determined and very excited to finish the third part sum container, so in next video, I definitely go gather up more fillers <laughs> and come back and do this one. So come back if you're interested. So this is my second full container. I think it works pretty well. It got closet shape, very full for the mom and a very faint shape for the very you know closet look. And I really recommend if you need filler this either dusty mirror or silver bullet. I really think this is a good filler for everything. It's just so versatile. The silver color brightens the pop up. And I'm also very happy I get to use this well grass. I intentionally kept in my garden. I have several of this. I, I didn't weed them. I just think they're pretty. So I'm going to use it in my container. So this is it. And let me know if you like it. Um, leave a comment down below. And don't forget to hit like and subscribe my channel so I can have more videos and to tell you about my uh, beginner gardener journey. Thank you.